Alright you guys, so moving on from your budget to your paychecks now. So managing your income um, begins with understanding your paycheck. So when you're paid, you will receive a paycheck with an attached pay stub. Um, so the pay stub would look like what we've been using. Um, not exactly alike, but it, it'll look similar. Okay, so this is a record of all of your earnings, and you should be able to keep... Let me redact that. You should keep them for at least three to five years. That way, if any discrepancies occur, you can pull them back out and look. Okay, so the pay stub shows your gross earnings, which is all of the earnings that you've made before deductions. And deductions are those subtractions subtracted from your earnings such as taxes, insurance, pension, um, insurance, okay, any other miscellaneous items. So the amount you the amount of pay you receive after subtracting your deductions is your net pay, so which is the money that you take home. So um, with the sales tax or is it the income tax? The income tax one. Um, that we were doing yesterday. The 2000 would have been our gross pay, and you had to figure out what North Carolina's um, percentages were, and then you use that, and you times it by the 2000, you got your numbers, you added those all up, those all would have been your deduction, and then taking the 2000 minus your deductions is what give you your net income. So hopefully that makes more sense now that you've done it and we're talking about it. Okay, so your gross earnings and net pay will be very different in size. So for example, um, a beginning worker's gross earning of 600 per week could amount to a net pay less than 450 because of all the deductions. So instead of getting like 12, 1300 um, a month, they're getting um, 700, 800, maybe a thousand if they're lucky. Um, so to cash your paycheck in, there's a little box on the back of it and it says endorsement here and it's essentially like you have to sign your name before the bank can cash it for you. Um, so all your tax information is printed on your pay stub and it's um, forwarded to the appropriate government agencies so you always want to make sure that everything is correct um, and just needs to be as accurate as possible um, so they there are a variety of methods um, that employers use to pay their employee I know we talked about getting paid once a week once a month once a year okay so um, some of those methods are salary, so the employer pays a fixed sum of money to a worker every year. So payment is usually once or twice a month. Wages are for a year, calculated and divided into equal pay periods. Wages um, are where the employer pays a worker a fixed amount of earnings per hour, day, or week. Okay, so that's um, more or less like waitressing, um, fast food, I think construction would count. Um, I want to say some medical workers, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, things like doctors, nurses, uh, they're all salary. Um, teachers, their salary. Yeah. Um, administration's all salary, government salary, okay? So there's this thing called a piecework. It's where the employer pays a worker according to the amount of work that the worker produces, okay? Um, you have commission, which is where the employer pays a salesperson a certain percentage of his or her sales. So uh, realtors, car dealerships, those are all commission-based. Um, and then you have overtime pay, which is 
where the employer pays a specific specified rate for work performed by regular hours. So like you work 40 hours a week, but your boss is like, hey, come in um, and work these extra like 10 hours. Then most of the time you get time and a half, which is essentially like they say you make 7.25 an hour. Let's not do that one. Let's say you make 8.50 an hour. Cause math is not. It is 8.41 and it is too early to be doing math like that. Um, so say you make 8.50 an hour, um, but you've already hit your 40 hours a week. So you would then take the 8.50 divided by 2. Okay, so that's 4.25. And then you would add the 4.25 to the 850 for 1275 and that's what you'd be making for those 10 hours. And hopefully that made sense and I wasn't just rambling. Okay. So you have um, things called payroll deductions. So regardless of how you're paid, your employer is legally responsible for withholding or deducting. Okay, so withholding, deducting are interchangeable. Um, local, state, and federal taxes, which is a payment that all citizens are required by law to make to help pay the cost of government services. So street paving, trash pickup, um, your fire departments, your police departments, things like that, okay? That's how they get paid. Um, so workers are required to pay all or a large part of the federal, state, and local income taxes during the year in which they receive the income, okay? Um, with tax refunds, if you don't pay them throughout the year, then you're gonna owe when tax income, like your refund checks come in. So you could essentially be paying to the government with that refund check instead of pocketing it. Um, by law, we are all required to, to complete a W-4 um, tax form, okay? We haven't gotten to that yet, but we will. So every, mu every taxpayer must uh, file their income taxes by April 15th, um, which is when the tax refunds start. Okay. Um, 